guys, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Uh, happy to bring you a guitar lesson right now. We're going to zoom in, I'm going to show you how to do it, but real quick, I always have a bunch of cool stuff to offer you. You can click the link below this box, I have a chord and scale book and lessons that I send to you. Anyway, let's get to the lesson, here we go. Alright, really important, the original recording is in E flat minor. So the way I'm teaching it to you, the easiest way to play it, especially like on an acoustic guitar, would be to tune your guitar a half step down to match to the recording. <clears throat> now I'm in standard tuning right now, so you don't have to worry about it, we're just in standard, but to match up to the original recording, it's a half step lower. But this is a much easier way to play it for a beginner guitar player especially. But if you're a more advanced guitar player, there's still so many options, you know, on a, on a progression like this. But anyway, the first chord is an E minor chord. And the counting of the song is kind of like one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's E minor. <clears throat> the next chord is G. There's a lot of different ways to play G. I'm playing it uh, this time with the middle index, third fret, third fret, like that. You can play it like that, and that, that, but it's all the same thing. Okay, so E minor to G. B7, and it's gonna be B7 for twice as long as the other two chords. And B7, check this out. It's second fret on the A, first on the D, second on the G. And if you're a beginner, you should kind of like try and aim for that shape first, and then eventually get your pinky on the second fret of this high E string here. So that's the verse and the chorus, and then there's this other section, but that's pretty much uh, this is pretty much the main part of the song, so check it out. E minor, G, B7, for twice as long as the E minor. And I'm cutting it off, you know, just with my palm. let it ring out. And for like the chorus, I would let it ring out. Which is... It's all one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so the next section, which has some really cool changes, it, it just starts on the A minor chord. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So A minor is another nice beginner chord. Then you could just scoot these over to E minor. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, E minor. Then a chord called C7, which is a regular C chord. Three, two, zero, one. But you add your pinky to the third fret of the G string. Just like that, so watch. So you got A minor to E minor. Same amount of time. Now C7. To B7. Now a uh, easy kind of cheat is to just slide this portion of the C7 down and just play it that way without getting that note. That's kind of easy, you know.
back to the top. It's my room. And just remember, you got to tune your guitar down a half step, which I'm not doing right now, just to make it match up to the recording if you want to do that. It's just a half step off. But if, if, you were, uh, if you were to play the original key of the recording in standard tuning, you'd actually have to play it with bar chords. You know, all bar chords. But, um, but if you're an advanced player, you should be able to figure that out on your own. So this was a good one for, I think especially, like I said earlier, for singers who are trying to get their guitar chops up and they want to be able to sing and accompany themselves on some songs. I think this is good for that. All right, thanks a lot for hanging out. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.